Hello and welcome to another video. In this video I have an iPhone 15 Pro Max that is not powered on. Some of some technicians send this to me and they say they try to fix the charging problem and then the phone was working and then the customer come back with no audio and then they just reflow the the amplifier of the speakers and then the phone is just off. Okay, so welcome to another video. Okay, so we have this phone. Oh, I don't have a charge in this camera, but I have this camera. Okay, I have this phone, so I have the main board right here. I already, I already uh, do some things in this motherboard just to have a, uh, just to see what's the problem, okay, and then do this video. Okay, okay. The first thing you always have to. Just, uh, just connect your phone to your power supply, right? So I'm going to just connect this phone to my power supply. I'm going to connect it right here, okay? And I'm going to try to power on this phone, okay? So I'm going to power on this phone, okay? Right here, okay? This phone, someone already tried to fix it, okay? They tried to do something with the NAND, okay? They clean all this, uh, the glue, the, the epoxy. And also, they told me they remove this one, they remove this one. Remember when you are doing an iPhone 15 charging problem, you have to remove the, the Hydra and this one, okay? Because it's two uh, pairing uh, circuits, okay? And I removed this was the uh, the speaker amplifier. I just removed it because they told me they just do the reflow, okay? So please don't do reflow, okay? So I already turned on this phone and the problem with this phone is I have in my power supply 90, 90 uh, milliamps, okay? 90 milliamps sometimes is because the phone is stuck in DFU mode. So we are going to connect this phone. I'm going to turn off. I'm going to connect this phone to the housing, okay? Like that, like that. And now I'm going to connect the uh, USB port, the USB cable, okay? Okay, see, and I'm going to open three U tools, three U tool, three U tool, and see. Like I told you, this phone is in DFU mode. Okay, so the first thing you have to learn if you are watching these videos is never, never, never charge software or do the restore in this phone when you receive a phone like that because you can make a lot of mistake a lot of mistake okay because remember when uh when iphone is in a stock and dfu mode can do can be a lot of things okay? a lot of things okay a lot of things so that's why you have to understand what you are doing okay you have to understand uh some phones can uh stock an apple logo just because uh, is missing some uh, power lines or some problem with the NAND or can be a lot of things. So the first thing you, you have to understand here is you have a CPU, okay? And the CPU need power, okay? The CPU need power from the PMU. The PMU send power to uh, buy the box, okay? Remember? So you need all these box because sometimes if you are missing one box, the phone can stock in DFU mode, so that's why it's so important to check all the box, okay? And another thing is, remember, the PMU also send power to one important, um, one important circuit that we are going to call NAND, okay? The NAND, okay? The NAND need power too, and then when these two circuits are uh, receiving the power line, so these two circuits had to talk, okay? They had to tag because this one have the RS system and all the drivers and all that stuff. So the CPU need to tag with the NAND to start power on the phone. So that's why it's so important that the lines between these two components are good. And in this case, we had the PCA lines. Okay, and we have some lines TX and the R this one we also have a reset and we also going to have a clock okay so i always check these four lines okay so if one of these is missing you can have a phone stocking in dfu mode and what's the problem if you just do a restore 
if you receive a phone and just do a restore, you are going to have an error, maybe error 4014 40, 40, or 4013 40, or uh, this one or this one or any kind of error. And sometimes you are going to just uh, make a lot of mistakes and make a lot of more problems just because you don't uh, use your multimeter to check these lines, okay? I already checked all the bugs in this phone and all the bugs are good. So I'm just going to show you, I'm just going to show you uh, two power lines that come to the NAND, okay? So I'm going to, I'm going to check this one. I'm going to power on these lines. I'm going to power on the phone. Sorry for my English. I remember I don't speak very good English, but I'm trying to do my best. Okay. So the first thing that we are going to check is we are going to open iPhone 14 Pro Max USA, USA. Okay. And then here is the NAND. We need, for example, this uh, this voltage. This voltage comes from the PMU. So we can check this voltage right here. One, two, three. So I'm going to check this voltage, okay? I'm going to put the multimeter. And I'm going to check this voltage. So we had to have, we have right here. See, one, one point 1.24 voltage, okay? And then we also know need another power this one but i can check this one because uh we have a um, a metal thing right here and i don't want to take it up and another voltage for nan is uh this one the 0 0.83 voltage okay so i'm going to check this one and i'm going to take this one apart and see i have 0 0.83 so I have the voltage. The voltage are good. So now we need the, to check the PCA lines, okay? So to understand this, remember, because I'm going to explain to you. Okay, we are going to have the CPU and now we have the NAND, okay, the NAND. All these components have the voltage already, okay? So this one need to talk with this one, okay? And this one with this one. And we are going to have the PCA lines, PCA lines. And the lines TX and RX, we are going to have this line. In the middle, we are going to have a capacitor, okay? A capacitor, we are going to have four capacitors, four capacitors right here, okay? These capacitors, is this one are TX positive, this one are TX negative, and now we have Rx positive and Rx negative, okay? So this one, we can check this one in with the oscilloscope and make a lot of drama, but we are, I'm, I prefer to do this in the easy way, okay? So remember we can use the diode mode. The diode mode, we are uh, checking resistor inside of the components, right? And it's hard to me to explain dial mode in English, okay? But in dial mode, we can check this this part of the capacitor, and we have to have some va value, value, okay? Some some data over there. So I can check this one. If I check here, this capacitor is going to tell me, okay, the, I'm connected to this red this pad if i check here this one is told me i connected here if this one i check here this one is told me i'm connected here if this one is show me some value i'm connecting here and then i can do the same thing in another side of the capacitor just to see if this one had communication with the NAND and these ones had communication with the cpu that's why we need a value in um each part of the capacitor, okay? Remember, we is the easy way to check this, uh, these lines, okay? So I'm going to put right here PCA lines, okay? And I'm going to search for the NAND. Where is the NAND, okay? Here, this one is TX positive, TX negative, RX negative, RX positive, so. I can check this uh, this part of the capacitor, okay? I can check this part of the capacitor. This one, this one with uh, diode mode, okay? With diode, 
diamond right here. And if I have a value right here, it's just told me, okay, I'm connected to the CPU. Okay, and I can, I had to check this one, this one, this one, and this one, just to see if I have a value. And then the another side of the capacitor is going directly to the NAND. So I had to have some value in this part of the capacitor telling me that if I have a value right there is because I have a communication with the NAND. Remember to check Diomo, you don't have to put your uh, power supply, okay? So I'm going to put my multimeter in Diomo. I'm going to come right here in Diomo, okay? And I'm going to check these capacitors, okay? See. The capacitors are this one. I already cleaned the area right here for you guys. And we have four capacitors for the PCN lines. I have this one, these two are TX and these two are RX, okay? So I'm going to check this, the side of the CPU, see? We have value, so that means this part of the capacitor is connected to the CPU. I have this one, this one have value, this one have value and this one have value. Now I'm going to check the side of the NAND. This one have value, so that means this one is connected to the NAND. This one, I don't have value there. This one, I don't have value there. And this one, I have value. So these two lines are not connected to the NAND. Okay, but we can say, okay, maybe that that and this model works like this because i remember iphone 6 to 12 pro max or 13 pro max 14 pro max and we have value in, in each side of the capacitor so i have another um another board right here iphone 15 pro okay this is the 15 pro and this 15 pro okay we have these two are TX and these two are RX, okay? So I'm going to check the same thing. This is the side of the CPU, see? We have value, we have value, we have value, and we have value. And now I'm going to check the side of the NAND. I have value, I have value, I have value, and I have value. So this is a 15 Pro, and this one has value from the side of the CPU, and the side of the NAND. So maybe because we are missing these two lines is this one stock and DFU mode. <sighs> I think, or oh, I, I hope this uh, technician don't uh, put new software on this one and give some error because we can still save the information from the customer, okay? So what we are going to do is I'm going to remove the NAND because why, 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 why? Because they work in, right here in this area. So maybe they apply too much heat and they just uh, desolder in the NAND. So I'm going to take out the NAND, do a revolt and put it back, okay? That's the thing I'm going to do in this one, okay? So uh, just give me a few minutes. So let's go. Okay, so I already uh, put the NAND back and we are going to check the lines, the one uh, we are missing, okay? So uh, this one. And if you see the video, I make a jumpers to ground, okay? The, the size of the lines of the one uh, uh, was missing, I just put a jumper to ground. And then I check to the, the pad from the NAND just to see if I have ground there, just to see if I have connection to uh, the NAND for to directly to the capacitor, okay? And then I just remove the, the, the jumper to the ground and I check and we don't have values. So that means we have, uh, we have connection from the NAND to the capacitor, okay? I, I hope uh, you guys understand this. Okay, now, um, I'm going to check this and remember, we don't have value in this one and this one. And see, now we have value, we have value, we have value, and we have value. So now, four lines 
we have value on these four lines, okay? So now I'm going to put the my power supply and now I'm going to turn on this phone, okay? The value of my uh, power supply is different. I don't have 90 and see, boom! We have Apple logo. Okay, my friends, this is easy. See, this is from my brand. This is Edgar, your reparo. It's sold the past time. Okay, see, we have this iPhone 15 Pro Max that is power on because we do the right things, okay? If you see, I don't make uh, many mistakes because that's, that's the important thing to learn the basic, okay? This worked the same in iPhone 6 and up. We had to check voltage, we had to check the PC lines, and then we had to check some clock and some reset. If we have those, or maybe the CPU can be the problem, but if, if you don't have the, the basic or the step-by-step -step that you have to check always and on the phones, you can make a lot of mistakes and this is so important and this is why it's so important to learn the basic things. I'm going to try to do my best to show you guys how to uh, fix these things in the right way and the easy way, okay? And please don't forget to leave your comment, subscribe to this channel and please, please just do a favor for me. Share this video with your friends and say, okay, Elgarito is teaching you and the easy way because we need 5,000 subscribers. If we reach 5,000 subscribers, so I'm going to do a free course with something, okay, in English. Okay, see you next time. Leave your comments, like, and share. Bye.